Mega Harbs Championship Wrestling. Welcome to New Year's Slam. This is this is your host Mega Harv for Mega Harv Championship Wrestling, and today for commentary, I also have my buddy Chris Stofer. Say hi, Chris. How's it going there, Harv? Oh, it's going just lovely. How the hell are you? I'm doing great. Looking okay. forward to a great great night of action here. All right, super. So without any further ado, let's get this bracket started. First up, we have J3 versus Michael Peterson. Who do you think? Who's your money on here, Chris? Uh, Michael Peterson's a former world champion, but J3's got those huge ball hands. I see J3 moving on to the next round. He does. Former tag team champion? Oh, yes, indeed. Not not many people can claim that. So. No, they cannot. So here we are, right in the action. A couple jabs to the face there. Oh, yeah, that's uh, nothing quite like balls to the face. No. Especially in a time like this. Also, I, I should probably mention, for this qualifying round, every minute, not every minute, but the first minute of every one of these matches, there will be an explosion. So oh, right wow. about now, Ooh. gonna be explosion. See if we get any knockouts this way. This should, this should make this first round, you know, quick and dirty. Hope you got here early for it. You might miss your match. Well, it looks like Michael Pearson's got some golden showers running down his leg. Yeah, he's looking a little little worse for wear. Big ol' suplex into a pool of his and J3's blood. Ooh. There's a cover. One, two, ooh, two count. Oh, so close. That was the patented Michelson, the Michael Peterson screw <laughs> slam. J3 kicking out. The tenacity of J3. J3's got a lot of stamina. A lot of stamina. You can go all night from what I hear. Can he ever? So can I, Mean Gene. I'm Jesse Ventura. Oh my god, we have Jesse Ventura as well, on commentary. I thought Mean Gene was Come dead. Hang out, guys. Hang out with you guys, you get your nice gentlemen. Oh, well, thank you. You're, you're too kind to join us today. I love a good match with some ball hands. It's an and honor. some piss yellow boots. Peterson showing some fight there to J3. J3 likes a fight, though. He might be uh, playing oh, possum here. But Michael Peterson also has to be sure he has enough in the tank later for his world title match that will be occurring later with a whole bunch of whole bunch of wrestlers. A cavalcade of uh, stars, so to speak. Yes, an entire cavalcade. I like I like that. Ooh. There's a super kick. One, two. Ooh, and a three count, and J3 is the victorier. Yeah, J3 moving on to the oh, semifinals. Shit. How, how do you got, feel, J3? You moved on yeah, to, J, the, to the yeah, semifinals. J, I have a commentating booth here. Oh, I'm sorry, fellas. Oh, yeah. I feel really good. Excellent, excellent. I feel really good. Right, Jay, one. My balls got rubbed all over his face. Yeah, and you came out on top. He came all right. Yeah. Let's see what you did there, Harv. hey -o. He came out on oh. top. Uh, those ball hands just, uh, he's been stretching those things out of here. We got J J3 joining us on the, uh, the, via satellite here. Yeah, just that, uh, everyone's popping in. Jesse Ventura, J3. The gang's all here. But moving swiftly forward, next up, we have Eric Robinson versus Vile. I'm glad to be here, Harv. <laughs> glad to have you. So we got Eric Robinson versus Vile. Who, who's your pick, folks? I'm going to have to go with Eric Robinson Jr. because I just don't like Vile. Well, that that settles that, then. 
All right. But Vile, former Lardcore champion, a very, uh, very elite list of competitors. He was. He did knock off Frank the Dragon. That's for sure. Yeah. No. Uh, he's a real formidable opponent, Mean Gene. Yeah. So. <laughs> Hats off. I need Vile to stay healthy for me, writing a strategy guide for me right now. That's right. Vile's so, you... strategy guide is one of our sponsors here at the yes. uh, MHCW. Along with the Cinnabon Master. <laughs> oh, there's the, there's an explosion. It looks oh, like neither man. man was knocked oh, out. But the referee is being a pansy ass. Yeah, he's just writhing around like, oh, I got blown up by C4. Yeah. Mm, there he's having a seizure. We might have to have the medical staff take a look at him later. Yeah. Ooh, a Room tombstone. Yeah. There's a cover. One, two. Oh, and he kicks out of a tombstone. Not many people kick out of Vile's tombstone pile driver. No, that, that's some serious tenacity. It's just all these competitors, they just want to be the ultra violent champion so badly. And I don't blame him. How often do you get to be, to be the first champion, champion back in the game? I don't know, my Uncle Terry told me a lot about being a champion. What did he tell you, Chris? He said, don't look at the lights. It's, it's good advice. <clears throat> oh, a fallout power Pretty much keep your eyes closed like and just a uh, two count there by Eric Robinson. He had a nice set out power bomb there. Yeah. If only he could have centered Vile in the ring a little bit better, I think he could have pulled it out there. But... Oh, we got a belly-to-back suplex there, and Eric Robinson's not fooling around here. No. A Vile Ooh, into right. the barbed wire. That's not going to feel good. No, it, uh, it generally doesn't feel great. No. Oh, Vile's uh, doing a little showboat in here. Maybe, will this come back to haunt him? We'll see here. Uh, it usually does. Oh, and a suplex there by Robinson. So he did a suplex, a questionable maneuver, not doing his patented jackhammer. But maybe as a long-term strategy. I don't know, that Goldberg uh, jackhammer, he, uh... I mean, it's a powerful got that, move. Yeah, he got the powers of Bill Goldberg's jackhammer, so... Oh, like there's a tombstone. A second tombstone. I like, I like pepperoni on mine. We, we don't have oh, tombstone that, pizza in Canada. Oh, that's a three count, and Vile's the winner here. Yep, so the next semi-final. That's a good pizza. I, I'm going to have to sample it one of these days. That's good, Jesse. I like, I like tombstone, too. So no, so for the semi-finals, we, we got J3 and Vile. That should be an interesting ma matchup. The, the the master of the strategy guide versus the master of the Cinnabon sauce. We'll yeah. see who comes out later on tonight. Hey, you know what, Vile? Fuck your strategy guide. It's not oh, a sauce. It's strong it's words from J3. Real strong words. Yes. <laughs> so next up, we have That's ourselves the, Jess Deletion. That was some colorful the, language there. Versus Big Bad Saints. <laughs> I'm, I think we might have a bit of an echo, who, whoever the echo might be coming from. I think that might be you, Mr. Stouffer. Uh, Gordon's Fisherman? Yes. <laughs> Fisherman's friend. From pizza to fish sticks to zero to sixty. That's just, just the way the wind so, blows. Just deletion and big Larry Sane here. Larry Sane, a former world champion in his own right. That's right. Not to be discounted. Just a silhouette of his former self. Dynamite drop in there, Jesse. Big Bad Sane going for barbed wire throwing, but Jez Deletion's like, nah, nah. -uh. And uh, there's an explosion there, and the ref's out having a seizure again. Yeah, he'll be fine. This rubs some dirt on it. Sleep it on. Yeah. Little Z pack will do you pretty good, too. <laughs> the old Z pack. It's like a fanny pack. <laughs> Why do you call it a fanny pack when, like, the pack part's, like, in the front? I think a fanny pack, like, would be in the back. 
You would think so, but that's hard, hard to get along with. Else down yeah. here, though. They call it really something good. else down here, but I'm not going to say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so strong. think of another word for cigarette, but they call it uh, around the world. Oh, well, the, uh, well, what will you gotcha. stop it, Jesse? Would you gotcha. stop it? I get what you're saying. Oh, jeez, I, I can't, I can't uh, stop myself. I'm, sometimes I'm just a sexual tyrannosaur, you know what I'm saying? Oh, dear. Do we ever? <laughs> it's, uh, I'm so excited right now. Jess Deletion seems to be in control here, and Larry is seen with a big headbutt. The thing about Jez Deletion is, you know when he's bleeding. And you also know he's from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yes, that is true. Jess Deletion's looking to delete. His opponent here. Yeah, too sweet. He's doing a little moonwalk on Big Bad Sane, just rubbing salt into the wounds, so to speak. And that crimson's really staining that, that, that black mat there. Yeah, you that know. beautiful New Year's slam MHCW mat. Yeah, thank uh, Frank the Dragon for making those awesome graphics yes. there. Kudos to Frank the Dragon for, for all of his efforts. Seems like you did an okay job here, Mean Gene. I agree, Jesse. I, I'm smelling a conspiracy theory here, Jesse. What do you think about that? What do you say that there, Chris Dofer? Well, you did have a TV show called Conspiracy Theories with Jesse Ventura. I mean, yes. I'm giving you a plug here for your show on True TV. That's right. Oh, I forgot about that. You know, when the Alzheimer's kicks in, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I did a lot of wacky tobacco back in the day, so. I'll, I'll bet. Oh, Larry's seen with a big, nice punch to the right upside the head of Jess Deletion. Hurricane Rana. Beautiful. Jess Deletion's not afraid to fly high when need be. Although it's limited in the this barbed wire rink. You don't want to be doing no springboard anything off of a barbed wire rope. You'd have to be high like Stamus to do that. Bare minimum. Go to Stamus Bakery and get yourself a big... Another one of our sponsors. Up real nice. Fire up those candles on top, you know what I'm saying? I, I do. Correct. There's enough CBD in there to turn you into a sexual tyrannosaur. <laughs> <laughs> what I've always dreamed of. Larry's saying with a nice back suplex, both men are out though. Who's going to be able to take advantage? It looks like Just Deletion pops up first. Yeah, even though he, he took it. He also just took oh, a big, bad tombstone. That could be it. I, I like know, pepperoni on my tombstone. Two count? I'd wow. Say, I'd say that was a lucky break I'll for Just Deletion. I, I'd say it was a lucky break indeed there, Harv. Yeah. Ooh, right in the little mushrooms on my tombstone. Just slaps the mushrooms on there. Ooh, are we talking about pizza or something else? Ah, uh, pizza. All right. Pizza. Oh, I don't know. Yeast. I'm thinking about other stuff now. Yeah, both men down. You think I'm the early eight? Easy there, Jesse. <laughs> well, I had a lot of good times there, man. Out in the jungle, Ooh. so to speak. Back right, elbow. Fil filming Predator. Filming Predator with Schwarzenegger, having a blast. You guys have a couple beverages? Ah, oh, man. A couple beverages, a couple ladies, a couple jungle queens, you know what I'm saying? All Not just all, the boat. All in all, sounds like a good night out. It does sound nice. A, a night for the whole yeah, family. Yeah. There's one time we were having a, a flexing contest. Oh, jeez. Ooh, a tombstone. A tombstone doesn't even go for the pin. Just deletion no sells it. That's classic Just deletion. Going Another for a third. Oh, wait, reversed. Oh, Just deletion hits Sane with his own finisher. Just insult to injury. It is. What's Jez going to do? He did his roll up. Two. Two count. That was a close. The ref was out of position there. Oh, they're... Uh... They need to get in the center of that ring or else they're in rough shape. Larry Zing with the uh, Glasgow kiss, as uh, Drew Magatara calls it, oh. the headbutt to the head. Could you feasibly do an elbow butt? Not I that guess. I'm judging. One, two, an elbow. Oh, that's it. 
Jess Deletion upsets former MHCW World Champion Larry Zane to advance in the Ultra Violent Championship Tournament. Congratulations to Jess Deletion for that. The for pride that of New Mexico. That pinfall victory. Truth or consequences, New Mexico. Yeah. I have a question about an elbow, but I mean, I'm not an anatomy major. You know, it sounds a little interesting to me. I mean, you, you can give it a try. You just kind of, you just kind of, what do you do? You kind of flex like you're, like you're posing in the mirror, but you just kind of place your elbow in a certain and area. And kind of William Regal, your thumb and your bicep to make it look bigger than what it is. Yeah, it's a good trick. That's it's, it's like the, it's like the now to give it a whirl. Yeah, it's like the you put the electrical tape around the guns and yeah, pump them up. Last but not least in this qualifying round, I guess it's quarterfinal, we have Douglas White, also former and current MHCW champion. He's got a hard road ahead of him tonight. Hard. It's all to violent tournament. As long as he goes, it'll be for him to hold to that title. Plus, he's going one on one against Kabuki no Oni, a, bit, a newcomer in MHCW, but has been dominant thus far. Will that dominance continue in this match? Find out right now! Um, he looks precious to me. <laughs> like looks Gollum. real precious, man. Like Gollum from Lord of the Rings. I was just Rings. thinking the same thing. Um... I'm not gonna get copyright strike for mentioning Lord of the Rings, am I? Okay, good. We'll find out here. Right. It's New, Year, it's New Year's Slam, after all. Hopefully. It's hot and heavy action here. That's right. And I'm horny. Oh, baby. Oh, an explosion, so that's... Yeah, J speak, speaking of which, that must have been J3. Yeah, I'm feeling it all the way he, all the way from Tokyo here. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh that was a, down. speaking of explosion. What's that, Jesse? Oh, I said speaking of explosions. Sounds like he's working on one right now. That's a dynamite drop in there, Jesse. Oh, Precious with a Precious Bomb into a jackknife cover. One, two. Oh, oh my goodness, gosh! Buki no Oni beating the world champion. Two minutes, ten seconds. That is Precious. That's Precious. Somebody wants to be the, the ultraviolet uh, champion. I guess so. I mean, that's a big upset here. The, 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 world, cha the world champion here goes I mean, down at... I mean, unless Douglas just kind of decided that... I don't know. Maybe I better rest up and retain my world title. So I'm just gonna just gonna we take the to, L here. We might have to look into some uh, wellness testing for Precious here after the after the uh, events over. Maybe that was that was a fast. It's a fast match. Was that like how fast was Michael Peterson? No. Who was it that fell beaten like? Nine that'd be uh, that'd be the. Was that Jonathan? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Speaking of Jonathan, we have a promo from Jonathan coming up here. Oh, so this should let be me, hot uh, and heavy. Let's get the monkeys from the truck to uh, get that promo up here. Oh, Gabriel, hit the button. There we go. I need a champion. I want to be a champion. I want to go against anyone in the chat, like Eric Robinson, J3, or anyone. And I'm not playing these games. So if hard, if you get this message hard, put me against anyone you want me to put against you. Thank you for your time, folks, and I'll see you on Sunday. Enjoy your night. And there you go, folks. Jonathan's saying he wants to be a champion. So I'll tell you what, Jonathan, we're gonna put you in a little cage match, and the winner of this cage match will also go as a number one contender in the title match later tonight. So this is how this is going to go down. We're going to put in, let's say, four people. So Jonathan, obviously you will be included. But also, we are going to have, I'm going to put in, uh, Phil Grogan can be your partner. We're going to do a tag, this is going to be a little weird, so stick with me. So it'll be Jonathan and Phil Grogan will be on one team versus Diamond Bar. Another former MHCW world champion. That's right. And uh, also, one Frank the Dragon will be teaming together. 
former the, large court champion and, yeah. for, and current MHCW yeah. tag team champion. A very dominating presence. But what he we'll is. do is the first competitor to leave the ring will get the number one contender spot for the world title later tonight. Now the final encounter of the world heavyweight title match later on in the show. That's right. And this will be escape only for victory. So best of luck to you, Jonathan, and everyone else in this contest. Let's get eight weapons in there for good measure. All right, so again, first one, first individual whose both feet hits the floor will be in the last chance uh, world title match. But the women and children in the bed, this could be violent inside a steel cage. Very well, could be. You got Diamond locking up a Jonathan there. Yep. Good old headlock punch combo. Notice uh, Frank has dyed his beard back to his regular color. He went white for the holidays, and some might have said that cost him the large court title. You, you never know. It's, it's just funny how these things work sometimes. So dominating, just just die. Didn't didn't get older. Just dyed the beard, and it just it was like cutting Samson's hair. It just sort of seemed to all went down. Well, down. well, you also got to know superstition plays a play like athletes. You know, you win a lot of a lot of games. You keep the same underwear. You change it, you lose. You blame superstition for losing. Right. But you, you got to My mom used to write my name in my underwear so I didn't get mixed up with the other kids. Because <laughs> you definitely don't want Adrian Adonis's underwear. No, sir. Oh, no, you good. don't. You also don't want... Uh, That's right. That's right. You, you certainly don't. <laughs> you don't want streaks in the underwear. You, you, want want you want streaks in your championship reigns, not your underwear. Exactly. You exactly. can set you're gonna your your streaks out of your underwear and in the ring. That's right. <laughs> and Billy Mason. I'll tell you what, though, that Frank the Dragon is one sexy dude. Yeah. yeah. But I'm showing off his strength in the ring, like the stallion that he is. Sexiest man I've ever seen. Billy Ma Billy Mays for OxyClean. He'll get that those uh. Those He'll get the Chipotle away. Yeah. It looks like Diamond Bars make whooping some ass out there. She is Diamond Bar, not not to be trifled with either. She's got the clown get up, but you can't be clowning around when she's in there. She's also been dealing with a lot of brain damage from all these hardcore matches recently. I mean, there was we'll that time she got knocked out and then immediately left the battle royal. You she was like, I'm not. That's still lingering. She pieced out there, you know. Well, I think she's gonna uh, supersize these guys' fries, so she's nobody to mess with. No, for sure not. That's right, Jesse. Oh, we got the Scorpion Deathlock on Frank, and that's a move Jonathan knows all too well. He tapped out in the record time in MHCW. That's right. Yeah, that was so. That was. A, that's got to be one of the most impressive wins in his, in our history, in our illustrious history. Although Scr critical submission, like one minute in the hardcore match, not not one single barbed wire hit, nothing, just. It's like, Daddy, no, I don't want no more. Yeah. He didn't want no more. But you can't win by me switch off the tree. <laughs> you can't win by submission in this match. You got to win by escape only. So you That's can right. do all the submission moves you want. It's not going to get you victory in this match. That's right. But if your opponent's back or legs are broken, good luck climbing the climbing. Yeah. The if you, you want to Jeff Galuli someone's knee like Tanya Harding did to Nancy <laughs> Kerrigan. You know that you can, you can get that you, you can do that too, but what a reference! Well, I, I guess a couple people get that reference. Oh, definitely. We'll Anyone who, yeah, I'm sure plenty of people caught that reference. Push, and, press one if you got that reference. Well, you know, once you said the Nancy Kerrigan, I was right on board with you, but I didn't know that the uh, the lesser known was a Jeff Kalulu. 
Yeah, Jeff Galuli was like the brainchild. Oh, that was that was his idea. Yeah. And he's got a killer mustache too. The shyster. Yeah, well, if you leave a trail really. with credit cards, you know, it'll come back to you. you know? Yeah, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta cover up that paper trail. You gotta pay in cash if you're gonna do it, kids. Well, really, though. Well, now you have Bitcoin. It's a little oh, different. Oh, yeah, bit yeah, Bitcoin or PayPal, same thing. Yeah. Uh, like cryptocurrency and all that kind of stuff out there. world's really changed, you know? Big time. Remember how, think... like, this time last year, cryptocurrency was, like, the biggest thing ever, and now it's, like, no one cares anymore? Like, bit people are still kind of a it, thing, man. but, like, it was, like, I don't know, $20,000 US around this time last year. I guess it was dipping by now, but now it's, like, I don't know, three grand for a Bitcoin. It's really kind of... I'm old-fashioned, you know, I'm like a grocery store. It's either paper or plastic for me when it comes to money. So I, I, I just like to come this, in uh, with gold bricks. You know, something light, easy to carry around. They're easy to hide under yeah. your mattress, too. Yeah, that's right. Stack those up in the corner of your apartment, you're good to go, man. Just grab a yeah. brick before you leave the house. Damn right. I like to pinch a brick every now and then. When I have to, when I have to go, I gotta go. So Phil with that oh, barbed wire we'll baseball bat. Up. Looking to make a victim out of somebody. I just yeah. wall up Frank with the, that barbed wire bat. We haven't touched upon this, but who do you got in this one, Harv? Me? I, I always gotta go with Frank. He was just such a dominating force for so long in the large core scene. I just... I feel like he's the odds-on favorite in most, most scenarios. I know newcomer Phil, Phil Grogan seems to have a lot of momentum behind days, too, so keep an eye on Phil. Yeah, not, not discounting Phil. Don't get me wrong. The stats speak for themselves. Uh, this guy, uh, this guy, Frank the Dragon, looks like a young Jesse Ventura. You know, he reminds me of myself, so... Uh, I'm sure yeah. Frank the Dragon will be flattered to hear that. Diamond Bar hit a Canadian destroyer. Yes. Diamond Bar is clearly not clowning around out there. Diamond goes to the top, but cannot, cannot connect. No, went for a frog splash for nowhere. Oh, oh there's look, John Jonathan's, Jonathan's making her, his way out, but Diamond is shaking him off. Diamond's like, <laughs> screw that. Looks like they're doing Diamond. some kind of mating dance out there. I don't know. She sure did shake him off and wait. Diamond hits the floor Diamond first. Bar's and looks like feet hit the floor first, so that means the Diamond Bar will go on to also be included in the last chance. Battle World Heavyweight title match. Elimination title match later tonight for the MHCW title. But let's let's see between we still got Frank, we still have Phil in the ring. Let's just see how this plays out, shall we? But it has been settled, Diamond Bar. We'll move on. Oh, there's that Falcon Arrow, but there's no pinfalls. No. Frank uh, Frank used that move a lot to retain the, the Lardcore title. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right, Phil Grogan. Uh, did anybody pick up any of those blunt objects and try to do anything with them, or they just kind of hang around? Uh, they sure no, did, Art. Oh, they sure did, Art. They it. sure did, Art Donovan. Hey, uh, hey Harv. Yeah. What's up? I did a, I did a little math for you there on that on the Bitcoin. Okay. If you would have bumped back when they first came out. They were about six cents for each Bitcoin. Right. And if you would have bought five hundred of those. You would have done it for thirty bucks if you would have sold all five hundred of those at their peak. You would have, <laughs> you would have gotten ten point five million dollars. Oh my god! Can you imagine? You spend oh, thirty geez. bucks and you get ten and a half million in less than ten years. That's that's sick. Nick. That'd be awesome. You could like buy I mean, hats planet. off to anyone that did it. That's some good you could foresight. Buy a, you could buy a Planet Fitness gym for that kind of money easily. I'd be shitting Planet <laughs> Fitness gyms. I know. Throw in that shower with your creamy love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but I was not there that day. I was at the job court, so I don't know what you guys are talking about. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened. And I was still in grade school, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like Frank's going out next. And it looks like Phil is going to be left behind. Phil will be the last one out of the cage, but Diamond is going on to the last chance. Yeah. 
World Heavyweight Title match later on in the show. Yeah, congratulations, Diamond. Good work. Jonathan, Diamond better luck it. next time. Thank you for the promo. Better eat those Wheaties, kid. I mean, you're close. If Diamond didn't shake you, you off, you would have had it. We'll just let that one sit for a while. Yeah. Speaking speaking of that, we have our we have a couple of promos coming up here. First up, oh good, we have the the demon from the nether regions, Stanley, coming up with the promo. <laughs> demon from the nether. Yeah. Now wait, some ninja is probably gonna get upset about this. All right, here we go. Stanley, you got it. Chris Fury, what do you have to say? New Year's Slam is finally here. A night of history will be made. The very first ever ultra-violent champion will be crowned in a tournament. The first large core title defense of Chris Fury and another title offense of Dragon Fury when we defend the tag team titles against Violent Stanley. And Vile, you get your rematch for the Lord Court title. I know it's your birthday, Stanley. No, I don't have any chronic for you. But you do have the opportunity to become a world tag team champion. But I'm afraid both you and Vile are going to walk out empty-handed tonight. Especially you, Vile. You got your rematch for this Lord Court title. I'm going to give you a little bit of advice, though, Val. I encourage you to bring your strategy guides. Try to find those cheat codes. But I'm going to give you another hint that's not in your guide. And that is, your guide won't work on me. There is no cheat code for Chris Fury. You will not outsmart Chris Fury. You will not outwork Chris Fury. And you will simply not beat Chris Fury. And the faster you realize that, Val, the better off you will be. And tonight, Frank and I walk out still MHGW World Tag Team Champions. I walk out the Lord Core Champion. And Dragon Fury continues to run Mega Harv Championship Wrestling. And there's nothing a damn thing either... Of you, Stanley, or you, Vile, and damn sure not a ninja can do to knock off Chris Fury or Frank the Dragon and Dragon Fury. We're the best thing going today. Now, you excuse me. Greatness awaits Chris Fury. Strong words from Chris Fury. So next up, as per request of Stanley, we will have Dragon Fury, the current reigning defending tag team champions, take on Vile Steel and Stanley. So best of luck to all yeah, involved. I talked to Chris Fury earlier today. He said Stanley's got to be delusional and one too many dabs if he thinks that Vile and him are going to take the World Tag Team titles from Dragon Fury. Those sound like the strong words from Chris Fury I know and love. 
So, uh, Stanley, sounding like uh, James Earl Jones in his prime. That's, I'd say that's he's a got, fairly high compliment. He's got some honey in his voice tonight, right, Ra Raul? Yeah, I mean, Gene. I have to comment on those nice uh, championship match graphics there. You gotta yeah, thank that's Frank, a new addition. Frank the, one Frank other, the one Dragon. Thank you for Frank the Dragon. Not to be confused with Imagine Dragons. That's right. I'm sure this. Stanley wants a little bit of that uh, Puff the Magic Dragon, if you know what I mean. And I agree. Me, Jesse Ventura. Well, Jesse, I mean, there's other things than, than doing dabs that can get you high. You know, life can get you high, too. I've had my highs and lows, man. Happens to the best of us and the rest of us. I also got a shout out to the nice uh, ring crew of cleaning up this mat and getting the, the barbed wire off so we could have this tag team title match here. Yeah. Only the finest uh, ring crew in MHCW and the highest grade, military grade sanitizers to clean that blood up. So I don't need my guys getting any staph infections. No, we actually change our mats here in MHCW. Yes. It's in all honesty, though, I think, think that's about something it, a lot how of many people STDs don't consider. Yeah. The, uh, the real uh, yeah, yeah. risk of skin infections from wrestling and whatnot. Oh, that's a real it's thing. It's a very common thing. Well, how many uh, STDs are floating around the MHCW between all these uh, this mix of characters? I, my guess, all of them. I don't know uh, what kind of... If if I had if I had to put money on it, uh, them all. We're gonna have to. Uh, I guess he's got a, everybody's got a little something. Yeah. We're gonna have to uh, address legal department with that. We don't want any lawsuits there. No, you we'll gotta. Just, we'll just leave it at that. But hey, you gotta you gotta share the love in MHCW. Mm, Frank with a nice Boston crab to vile steel. You would think Stanley would want to get in there to help his brother out, but we huh. we saw uh, a couple of weeks ago. Oh, Stanley wanted to steal his brother's large court title. But he had his fingers crossed, though. Don't forget that. That's right. And yeah, that makes it okay. With the Texas clover leaf scissor block. I don't know what you even call that. Strong move by Chris Fury. Chris Fury I, has told me he's been working on his submissions recently, and he's really upping his game. He's been doing a good job with them, I'll say that much. Looks like Vile is not the legal man, and now Stanley and Fury going at it. There you go. No love lost between Stanley and Chris Fury. Could be on the short list for rivalry of 2018. We'll have to see how the voters turn out for that. Yeah. Ooh, nice double team. That looked like the 3D there. It, it did. The the dragon death, death drop. drop. Absolutely. There's no Dudleys here in MHCW. Ninja Dudley. Yeah, I'll pretend you didn't say that. Stating a fact. Absolutely. You know, I don't know what Burr got up his ass, but we'll have to see how that works out in the coming weeks here in MHCW. Well, there's a few to brew, and I can smell it from here. Frank got his Boston Crab on uh, on Stanley. I think he might be taking a page out of Chris Fury's new uh, battle style with the submissions. Very effective. <laughs> Looks like Stanley's look a little upgraded. You know, he went from red to, uh, I don't know, what kind of gray is that? Gray. Gray, gray. The gray uh, kind. He could use some just for men, you know. What's wrong with a little gray? It makes you look distinguished. His beard is weird. Your stash is trash. Use just for men. Keep your edge. Going for the uh, silver fox. Oh, nice elbows by Frank the Dragon and tag into Chris Fury. Wow, well, with a nice body slam there. It well, seemed kind he of interrupted. I'm curious how, if he got all of it. Also, this is not the first time we'll see Chris Fury and Vile. They'll square off later one-on-one -on -one for the title. Yes, they'll, they'll so get a little break between 
Well, Vile doesn't get that much of a break. He has to fight J3 after this. That's right. Then then Jess, Delish, and Kabuki know Oni one-on-one, -on -one, and then, then Chris Fury and Vile both back in there again. We'll, hope, we'll have to see if cramping plays a role, because both guys will get will get cold for a while. They'll have to get back in the back and warm up and keep those uh, muscles warm. That's true, too. That's that's something a lot of people will overlook. You think you get all this extra time to cool down, you'd be fresh, but no, after, after you go out there and you give it your all, if your muscles cool down, that's a good way to hurt yourself, you can't move. You, got, you gotta keep moving, stay warm if you know you're gonna keep going. Submission move by Chris Ferry there. Is yeah, he even the legal leg. man? No, not quite. The rear naked See, choke, I think. He was not even the legal man. Ref not doing a good job of getting him. Frank goes to the top rope and oh, nice frog splash. Okay. One, two, no, two count. Bow wow. took a sweet ass time getting yeah. over there. He's having a merry little stroll. Guess he forgot, you know, what title he was fighting for tonight. He's probably exhausted because you know oh. he did have a match earlier, but then again, Frank was Frank Two was counts. also just in a match, but he didn't have any even have any time to cool down. He should still be pretty warm in this one. Oh yeah, nice drop kick by Vile. He's not the legal man. Ref's not doing his job getting them out of the ring. And Frank's like, I want Vile in here to get him, Chris. Chris Fury's in now. Vile, did the tag made to Vile? Yes, sir. Chris yeah, Fury and Vile are now the legal men in the ring. Frank and uh, Stanley going at it, and Stanley goes to the outside. Frank will make his way back to his corner. Interesting to note, Chris Fury has won the world title, the large core title, and he is tag team champion as well. Very first guy to win all three titles until the ultraviolet title was introduced just a few weeks ago. That's right. But also, Speedy the Cat. This is MHCW oh. champion, Lightcore champion, and some some Federation title. He's, he's had three titles as well. Although, we'll have some news on that next week on the show. We got a jam packed show here tonight. We don't yes. want to muddy the waters here. Yes, that's right. Got to try to keep it focused. It's mostly mostly about this ultraviolet championship and a, and, a, and a New Year's Slam. Yes, correct. Been plenty of them tonight. Stanley's in there, Vile and Stanley working well as a team. Those the brothers Darkness, as they have been called yes, on sir. the streets. I mean, that's what you want to do if you want to overthrow Dragon Fury. You gotta you gotta keep the fresh man in, tag in and out. Utilize that five count to get some double team moves in. Ooh, a nice insecurity to get Frank's head. Yeah. Right to the tag back of his brain. I would have tried to work on cutting off the corners there, but we'll see if that comes back. Oh, a nice clothesline by Stanley. I mean, who knows? It might be their time. Dragon Fury's been champions for how long now? Why? I'd have to say at least October. Yeah, it's been they some the time. They time are the longest time. running champions in MHCW right now. That's right. It's funny because we've only had a few large core and few tag team champions. The world titles change hands more than any other title in MHCW. Yeah, oddly enough. That's why I'm figuring maybe... Uh, I'm not opposed to people having rematches, but we got to we gotta tighten well, the ship up a little bit. Well, we gotta, we had to let Vince Russo go because he was just booking that title way yeah. too much, you know. We're not having too many champions here. I'm thinking for someone to have a rematch, they need to at least successfully retain their belt once at least but you know I'll play it as I go I'm the sleazy promoter so the low-key well, deal all, promoter it's all rigged anyway yeah you know, I mean why do you think Chris why do you think Chris Fury has been champion so many times I don't know Kinda personally I think wonder I, why Mega Harv or Hardware Harv has never been a champion well he's not on mark for himself well. Never boy, Je boy, Jesse, do you have anything to add to this match? Uh, I'm just letting you guys spitball. You know what I mean. I don't, you know, you guys know the sport more than I do. I'm just here right, just to hang out with you wonderful gentlemen tonight. That's, uh, loves, loves that's a Jesse. tall uh, compliment from Jesse the Body Ventura. You're too, you're too kind, sir. Yeah, it's a wonderful sport. You know, it you sure guys uh, commented beautifully. So. 
Sounds like music coming out of your mouth, you know, you got honey in your voice. <laughs> You're making oh. me tingle a little bit down still. It's beautiful German suplex. Looks like Vile, Vile Steel's in here now. Let's see if they can capitalize on that German. Yeah, it looks like they are. A double power bomb to Frank the Dragon right in the middle of the ring. Stanley in position. Oh, Ooh, two, two and a nine. That is the closest anyone has come to defeating the tag champs in Dragon Fury. That was so close. Chris seemed a little distracted by Stanley. I really should have went for the, the breakup. It, it all takes is just like that half second of uh, just... Lyle lack of focus. That's it. That's all she wrote. Well, against the ropes. Nope. Frank's going to go for the tag here. We did Chris Fury. get a bit of a shellacking there. It almost had that 2.9. He definitely Chris needs Fury's a Chris Fury's got something in here. Is Vile going to tap? Oh, here comes Stanley to interrupt the uh, submission hold. And double, double drop, drop kick. kick. Making the Rockers jealous with that drop kick. I mean, say what you will about Stanley and Vile. They're doing a pretty good job as a team tonight. Keeping the tags fresh. In and out. In and out. Don't this has been a great World Tag out. Team title match here. Double power bond to Chris Fury. Fury having none of it. Now what's going to happen here? We got ourselves. Like, a, there we go. Oh, Bile no, breaks up. Ref needs to get come some control here. Yeah, all hell's breaking Whoa. loose. Is that an over the over the top belly suplex there by Chris Fury right. to Viles? Oh, Rough Rider to Stanley. Let's see if that'll do it. No, nope. he's going to go for a submission hold. Uh, the old camel, cl or the full Nelson camel clutch. Makes that'll Stanley make humble. Him. Absolutely. You know, I think, you know, I talked to Chris Fear earlier. He thinks the, uh, most people think he's misunderstood. If you get a, cha a chance to sit down on him like I did, you'll see he's a great guy. Gonna have to actually have like a sit down proper talk with him to get, get to in the mind of Chris Fury. Although once it comes tw towards bell time, he's all business and he he, he yeah. shows it every time they, in there. They don't call him Chris Fury for nothing. That's right. Yeah. Ring stopping a mud hole in the vial, going for a roaring elbow. Vile dodges out of the way. Oh, the shake, rail, and roll by Vile. Let's see if Vile can, can capitalize on this. Frank is... Ooh, Frank takes a nasty shot to the chest. Vile's in control here. Can Vile dethrone Dragon Fury? Nice clothesline by Frank. Is this it? Two and two. Count. two count. Stanley comes in and he starts doing those Muay Thai kicks to Chris Fury. Going up with the Hurricane Rana, but going back to his corner. He doesn't risk disqualification. Back in the ring he goes. You'd think this ref would get control in this end of this match here. The World Tag Team titles are at stake here. Oh, Stanley's going to try to go to the top rope with, with Frank. Oh, a superplex! Surprised Chris Fury let that let that happen. A nice clothesline by Stanley. Stanley whips Frank into the, to his corner. That's a good good strategy. Yeah. Looked like a Superman punch in the corner. Oh, Frank with roaring elbows now, and he's going to make a tag over to Chris. Big There's mistake. Fury's in there. Big Fury mistake. with the hot tag. Fury with the hot tag. And uh oh, Tombstone. Frank's definitely like the most up. softened up on the ring at the moment. Suffering a 2.9 earlier. Ooh, there's the Pele kick. Way laid with the Pele. What's the furious one going for here now? Oh, a cl getting clubbed in the back. Oh, a collision there. Both men down. Vile gets up to his feet first. Yeah. Nice slap to the chest here. All 469 pounds of titanium steel. You would think the referee would take a look at that steel there, but I digress. 
Oh, there's a rolling submission hold there. Referee's asking Val if he wants to get up. Stanley taking a sweet ass time to get over there. Did the trick though. Chris Fury also breathing heavy. There's a submission hold by Chris Fury there. And uh, I rope guess, break I guess there. that was a rope break, yeah. Because, you know, this referee's not very clear with his signals. I hate mixed signals. Don't we all? I mean, you could you could make an uh, an argument that you know Carla had some mixed signals for a certain individual from Tucson, Arizona. Oh, oh my! You, you could say that she had no mixed signals for J three though. Oh. It was all business. Ooh, ooh, Jesse, you you sly dog, you. Oh, I thought I'd just come in there and talk about something that I know about. <laughs> oh, you know, you know about the mighty Carla? Oh, uh, who doesn't? She's a nice... Been around the block a couple times. Would one. you stop it? Would you stop it, Jesse? She's a classy... A forearm, two count. No, not quite. Chris Fury breaking up the pin. Is that the Hell's, Hell's clothesline there? Yes. Oh. Over the head, belly to back. German... I guess. I guess there's Franken's, an overhead German suplex. Franken's, Franken Stanley exchanging blows now. There's a sweet chin music. Vile's in there. Fresh tags. This has been one nice world tag team title match so far, Harv. I would have to agree. Oh, that was an interesting counter by Frank there. Vile going for a belly to back. Frank just like, oh. now. I'm just going to throw myself. Nice dragon, ki dragon kick there by Frank. Wow, with the shake, rattle, and roll, giving Road Dog the uh, old tribute. The shades of Road Dog. Frank gets in with the hot tag, the Fury. And Vile with the tombstone of his own. Could this be it? Could we be seeing new World Tag Team champs? One, two, no, two count. I'm impressed that Frank had enough faith in Chris Fury to kick out of that one being so close. Vile working his way back to his corner. I like the strategy of Vile Steel and uh, Stanley. They're doing a hell of a together. job tonight. You gotta, you gotta give the devil their due. I mean, Stanley does look like death hung over there, so but he is looking pretty good on the apron. Wow, the Vile with a nice clothesline. Stanley back in. Stanley's a legal man now. Nice insiguri back to the head of Chris Fury. Mm, staying fresh. I like it. Stanley saying oh. it's over. This is the style, the uh, Stanley Clash. That's right. Uh, and I believe it's a rope race. If that's slightly better position, we might be having new champions, but not yet. Oh, nice, nice jawbreaker there by Chris Fury. He's gonna make a tag over to Frank. Nice work by Dragon Fury to get the, the fresh man in there. I have a hard time. Oh. I have a hard time saying who would be the freshest of the bunch. I almost want to give the edge to Vile and Stanley as far as freshness goes. Well, at Subway, you can always eat fresh there. That's right. What do you Hashtag think about that, Jesse? Sponsored. Man, if they want to sponsor, no, I could go for a sandwich right now. There, Chris, still for. I mean, I can always go for a sub. Oh, there's the old yeah. Falcon Arrow there, and the ref with the rope break. And uh, but down south they call him a hoagie. I don't know if you guys do that up there. Uh, up yeah, we, we know what we know what hoagie means. Like I, I wouldn't typically call it that, but people will say it up here, and everyone knows what's being said. I mean, I haven't called it a hoagie in years, but. They also can call him grinders too. Know. Burning hammer there by Frank the Dragon. I don't know, Stanley oh, kick out of that one. Oh, one, grinders. two, two count. Wow, well, to break it up, understandably so. Understandably, I see what you did there, Harv. Understandably. You liked nice, it, yeah. nice clothesline by there, Stan. Stan the demon from hell. We never got an explanation why he's a demon. But he does like to tell us from the time from, from from the ancient times, there's always been death matches. 
But it's probably all the devil's lettuce, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I get, I get you. Gets you after a while. And that nice wacky tobacco, you know a lot about that, right, Jesse? Oh, yeah, man. I've done it all. Oh, man, I'm there's running out of dirty, here. There's the dirty deeds, and let's see what Chris Fury... Oh, nice knee drop to Vile. Dirty deeds. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, well, there's a go to sleep. That could be it. Yeah. One, Stanley not two, getting in. Two count. He does not want to go night night. And he might go night night here. A submission hold. And, yes, and that he does. is that is it. Chris Fury has made Vile Steel tap out. Forty minutes. Twenty one. Dragon. 70. Put him to bed. Dragon Let Fury. Warm milk, Baba. Dragon Fury are still the MHCW World Tag Team Champions. Impressive match. Good job, Dragon Fury. Well, you play with fire, you get burned, guys. So, That's you know, right. I learned that when I was like five years old. 100%, I'm inclined to agree. That was a nice championship match there. Both yep. teams have nothing to be ashamed about. No, not, not a bit. That's harder than a pot pie straight out of the oven, you know what I mean? You don't want to burn your tongue on one of those things. No, you nice. definitely do not. Nicely said there, Jesse. Correct. That's an old Chinese proverb. I'm sure. Um, I'm surprised you don't know that. So now we are circling back to the semifinals of the Ultra Violent Championship Tournament. Next up, we have J3 back in action with the. Well, I may as well scrape Vile off the ring to to do his semifinal Boy. matchup. Man, Vile got the short end of the stick there. If you know what I mean, there. Hard. I'll say. It's just kind of the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. I'm going to say be it like short this. Stick. I feel pretty inadequate if I got the... Uh, oh, we're talking about short, in the short sticks here. Right. Anyway, looking like a colorful match coming up. <laughs> oh, it'll be colorful, all right. The color, uh, color of human juice. It'll be colorful with the blood of my enemies. That's right. And uh, J3 is no stranger going more than once in, in, in one evening. So. That's right. And I've also earned my red wings, so I'll be just fine. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna botch the transition. Didn't, didn't happen. And here we go, we got a different set of rules. Harv, why don't you explain this round's rules of ultra-violent yeah, death champ? Yeah, maybe I should explain what the hell I just did here. So, th for this semi-finals, we are doing land, or, uh, this, is cons this is considered the landmine death match because the landmines are outside. But rather than having barbed wire in each corner, I thought it would, might be uh, fun to have some some light tubes in the corner instead of barbed wire. It's sponsored by Lowe's or Home Depot. Whoever sponsor us, they can have that sponsor for the fluorescent light tube. That's right. Come prove me your way. Anyway, Mom said, uh. Never play with ball hands in the house, so... You, de you definitely should be running the here breaking hands. the rules. You know, Even though those it's... hamsters have been living inside of those ball hands for all this time, I mean... You know, you gotta let them out, you know, after the match and let them run around a little bit, maybe play with the kids. Yeah, they Absolutely. need a little, yeah, need a little mm -hmm. fresh air. Oh, those ball hands uh, these days looking like big gumballs or something. Uh, they look rather delicious. I, I must, I must admit, succulent. Some big jaw breakers. Yeah. Are you sure they're going to be breaking some jaws with those things tonight? Yeah, ask Vile about those jaw breakers. Nice bag breaker by Vile. Well, and they did the drawing for the tournament bracket earlier today. But he had a good position, but he didn't know his World Tag Team title match was going to be up up against this Ultra Violent Championship semifinal match. No, I'm not sure that his partner, if he spoke with his partner Stanley about that in advance. But when you get a shot for the World Tag Team titles, how do you turn that down? Absolutely. Two count there, Vile was pinning J3 there, ball hands. So Vile might be, what, one... To, this is his third match. He might be... He's fighting four matches tonight no matter what. Maybe even five. We'll have to see how Vile does here. You know, J3... J3 can go all night. 
I mean, Vile was just in there for 40 minutes. You would know, Baby Cakes. You would know. Oh, baby. Oh, that is, of course, what she said. Hey, oh. Calm your, calm your tits. Vile with a nice cover there, too. Who count there? I mean, good positioning, but just too early. Not enough damage inflicted. J3 is a fresher of the of these two individuals here in the in the ring for sure. J3 has a match at the top of the show and sipping margaritas up until now. Also doing some tug jobs in the back too. Yeah, all, all those good things to prepare. You gotta make extra cash. I mean, sometimes that's the only way. I well, should not. I know, and I need cash. I go to JG Wentworth. 1-800 cash now. If they want to be a sponsor too, they can also be a sponsor. Oh, by all means. It's your money. Use it when you need it. Yeah. 8 seven, seven, cash now. Nice suplex by J3 and both men are out. J3 pops right back up. And he goes for the figure four. Is, he, is Vile going to go to Space Mountain? Woo! He, he may very well after that. That last match. All I know is I like a good scissor, and they're giving it right now, so I'm satisfied. I don't know what kind of match you're watching there, Jesse. Oh, looking like Mr. Garrison and Mr. Slip. Oh, I see. Scissoring it out. Scissor enough, their differences. Sometimes you just gotta scissor it out. Ooh, right into the, the tubes That's in the corner, J3. That's the third time J3 has suffered. J3 the likes time. it rough. He likes it rough. Well, and that's, he's... that's why he's an odds-on favorite. And then Absolutely. he ran into it once for good measure on his own. Like Putting his lights out. He can go all night. He is the Cinnabon Master, after all. This is right. So the, the, the long haul, you know, the endurance. All I know is some men would kill to have the endurance J3 has. And the girth. Right. So that counts too. In that order. And the lengths. Yeah. All three of those. Or so I've been told. Just gotta take people's word for it sometimes. Yeah. If you look at uh, J3 himself, he does look, a, you know, really phallic anyway. Quite. Kind of like a certain individual getting accused of stealing something from a bookman. You kind of just have to take their word that they didn't take it. But we all know he probably did. I agree. J3, also known as the human sex toy. <laughs> I think he earned that, that uh, nickname in college. It's a, it's a hell of a hell of a reputation to uphold. Many heartbreakers, too. I, I could only imagine. He shakes him off of that big stick of his. Well, by the time he had the courage to transition. And it really pays off right now. Who knew he could turn it into a wrestling career so many uh, wrestling uh, career so many years later? They say it's never too late. That's what I keep hearing. Fell in the back suplex by J3. Vile has just got to be spent here. He's been in the ring for close to an hour at this point here. Oh, going back for a back. vile choke slam. Can this be it? Two. No, it's a two count. Ref was out of ref was out of uh, position there. Kudos to J three for, and for shoulder being block. able to get it up there. He can always get it up. He's no That's stranger it. to asphyxiation, so That's just evident. I feel like he can take it. I mean J three always rises to the occasion. There's no you know limp noodle there. Oh. And we're seeing it right now. Absolutely, he's hard as a rock. To beat. That doesn't Balls sound any of less steel. sexual, but anyways. I'm just but talking about J3. End, 
He's just talking about shit. Preferably J3 Chef, but... That J3 is one bad mother... Shut your mouth. Ooh, I'm just talking about J3. Little human sex toy action. Nice, nice back hurt. suplex by Vile there. Nice backbreaker by Vile into a slam. A New Let's Year's see. slam, if you will. Vile uh, breathing awfully heavy there. Nice gut punch there. To I mean, when, you, when you're in there with J3, you're going to be breathing heavy. When aren't you going to be? Well, the, 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 there's, the, there's those ball hands. There's the, the ball fight. fury. One, He's gonna be, uh, two. Oh, he kicked out of the ball hands. No, not putting you from the back, putting you in some submission. No, and then no, during the climax, I mean, Ooh. you're gonna be covered. That's right six, in the, right six in the times J3 has hit fluorescent light tubes. Still keeps coming. Not many people kick out of that, those ball hand shots. So no, those kudos are hefty. To, kudos to the strategy guide master Vile for kicking out of the, those ball hands. That's right. Apparently he's he got is the king of pop shots, so at least that's well, what I hear in the streets. Well, he does have the cheat codes for J3 here. Let's see if he can put those codes to uh, good use. Or maybe he'll be yelling at him like uh, a certain individual got yelled at during a Resident, Resident Evil 2 uh, playthrough, but I digress there. I mean, all in all, I think... Uh, by the end of the match where the J3 wins, uh, Vile's going to be like some Waffle House uh, waffles covered and smothered. And no matter what, Vile still has to defend his Lard Court, or uh, rather challenge his rematch for the Lard Court title against Chris Fury. So, like, best case scenario is almost a loss here. Well, he wants to be the first ever ultraviolet champion, so he's given it his all here to try to come out as ultraviolet champion, but... And I can't say I blame him. How many people get the opportunity to compete for the ultraviolet title? I mean, hell, I would have loved to have been in this pay-per-view, but none other than Vile himself took me out. I'd rather hardware hard, because we're different. We're not the same person. It's like he's horizontally oh, uh, mambo. Nice DDT by J3. He's breathing a little heavy, but he's still in this match. What's File wanting to do here? He picks up the kendo stick. J3 says he's not having any of that, and a nice suplex by J3. He's like, nah. Think this Give him the old-fashioned cotton candy handy. The coveted. Here we go. Can it be a ball shot hand to the face? That might be the first time Val takes ball shots to the face. You never know. First time for everything. There is. First time, long Won't time. Won't be the last time, though, I'll tell you that. hey -o. Especially when I get done with them. What, Jesse, Jesse, you're gonna be in this. You're gonna be in the ultraviolet tournament. That's a late, late entry. Well, I never said I was gonna wrestle. I'll see him after the show. Oh, okay. That's the stuff. Hopefully, you guys can go over oh. strategy guides. You know, you can get me your strategy for being in the army and stuff. Yeah, I'll tell him what's what and who's who. Oh, nice uh, kitchen sink knee to vile there. This textbook. It must be from Kohler. That's pretty pretty there. <laughs> the bold look of Kohler. Yes. That's a nice, uh, nice toilet brand there. Well, they also make sinks, so hence the reference of the uh, kitchen sink there. I see what you did there, Jesse. I like it. It's like like the only sink brand I know of, Kohler. Well, J3 also That's what I said. Make, make values the bidet there, and that's a three count. And J3 is going to fight for the very first time for the Ultraviolet Championship as he goes to the finals. Congratulations, Vile. J3. 
Lyle had been in the ring over an hour at this point. Yeah, it was. I think it was just out of gas. We'll see if he's got enough gas in the tank later on as he challenges Chris Fury in his rematch for the Lardcore title. Well, he can run out back real fast, have, grab an E-tank, and he should still be good for that fight. Because next up we have Jez Deletion versus Kabuki no Oni for the second semi-final match. So, Je so J3 will be a lock for the finals of this ultra-violent tournament. He can do his stretching and be be ready to go for the finals. And we, I hope he's got enough fuel in his tool. To I mean. core, but we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna see in the main event tonight if that's indeed the case. Seems the next match is gonna be real precious. <laughs> Getting down to the nitty and the gritty, we have, after this match, we have three matches left, although one of them is going to have quite a number of participants. More Precious. than two, less than nine. We're going to have ourselves a uh, Denny's Grand Slam breakfast there. I could go for that right about now. Grand maybe some good to me. Maybe some IHOP, who knows? Never had IHOP. I have a little ham steak. I don't think you, guys, I you don't have IHOP it. up there. Yeah, they have IHOP. I just never ate there before, Jesse. How dare you I put me on the spot? Like that. How <laughs> dare you put me on the spot like that, J3? I mean, Jesse. You don't even know my name, son. How disrespectful. Now, well, why don't you go follow some conspiracy theories, there, Jesse? Oh, it's just fine, man. I'm just gonna chew this tobacco here, hang out with you nice gents. Show you some nice courtesy. Like the opposite chew. of what you're showing me right now. Well, I, po I apologize there, Jesse. Never tried the chew tobacco. Some cooler heads will, will prevail here. Just a leash like in the south, the chew. Yeah. But it turn you into a sexual tyrannosaur. <laughs> that seems to be your go-to uh, line here tonight, Jim. I mean, it's... I do appreciate the sexy talk. Well, I just went back and watched Predator, and that's my favorite line out of the whole movie, so... Ah. There's another line, too, but uh, I can't really repeat it here. Gotcha. I feel you there. And yeah, it could be children watching, so... That's right. So Kamai here and just a leash in here. Kamai is his manager. It's Kabuki no Oni. Oh, Unless it's just it. his alter ego. Well, either that or he's, he's going to be working for Big Mama's uh, 3 coming soon to DVD uh, everywhere. He kind of looks like a, a darker flat, fat bastard. Like he lets him in a tanning bed for two weeks. <laughs> he's supposed to be... I'm going to eat you. That's a good impression there, Little Jesse. Bastard. Get in my belly. Wonder how many me will oh. taste it. Eh, kind of like chicken. Yeah, probably. I think yeah, I heard on a veal sauce that human flesh is supposed to taste like veal. Uh, did you ask Hannibal Lecter that? Because he know. It was know. on a Vsauce video. Oh. Hmm. So it's just an interesting thing to think about, you know? Yeah, Martin, I agree. Martin Lawrence just took a big headbutt. Martin Lawrence? <laughs> yeah, he's in Big Mama. Sherry! Ah, I get you. I get the joke. I think Jesse, uh, Jesse was all, all over that like he is everything. Nice DDT by Precious. One could say that's an awful lot of help there by... Uh, that's a camel clutch I would not want to be on the receiving end of. Big mamma jamma. Camel clutch from a camel toe. Oh boy. Well, it depends what camel toe we're talking about here. Well, I'm thinking Big Mama right there. That's not a, that's a Big vicious. Mama's moose knuckle. <laughs> Package that and sell it. Easy there, Jess. That's someone's, that's someone's uh, mama out there. I guess everybody's someone's mother, right? I guess That's so. Right. 
duly noted. You leave me with my birth and hips. You gotta have those hips to be able to, to, to uh, birth a child. And hips don't lie. Camera don't oh. lie either. Yeah. It's, it's all on the hips. Just deletion taking it to Big Mama here. Nice suplex. Oh, oh out into the barbed wire and an explosion there. That's not could this good. be? Could this be it for just deletion? The I pride guess. of New Mexico. I was gonna say something was bleeding, but I spoke too soon. Oh yeah, there's Ooh, a little nice spurt el right there. Nice, nice elbow. <laughs> nice elbow drop there by Jess Deletion. Could Big Mama show Jess that this is her house, indeed? DDT well, under the light too. Well, there was two two of those houses Mama had, so child, child knows. Ooh, nice right into the, the tubes in the corner there. Keeping the lights on for all of us to see. That's kind of like quite the opposite. It's like Red Roof Inn, right? Is that the uh, pizza brand? No, the hotel will keep the light on for you. Isn't that Motel 6? It's, I, well, it's a hotel chain, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's right. Either way, they're keeping the light on for you when you get there, so... Just the leash with the barbed wire back. Doing it kind of dead rising style there. Ooh, just the leash and taking more tube shots. Nice DDT by just the leash, but Big Mama gets out first. Hey, no problem. Really wants that. Wants this title victory. Jez Deletion has got to be seen as a favorite. Oh, oh what a move was that? Big that was, jackknife. I think you might spoke too soon. Oh, oh 2.9 right in the center of the ring. Nicely done, Jez Deletion. Mama's looking like Jackie Chan out there or some shit. She is very fleet of foot. I would say you have the grace of, of movement of a Umaga. Thing. Bare minimum. Yokozuna, also another good big man in the sport. Yeah. Rest in peace. Along with Umaga. There was like probably a little over a year ago, I went through this phase where I was watching Yokozuna botch bonsai drops on jobbers. I, I got a perverse pleasure out of it. Some of them were so disgusting. Oh, yes. It's like, Very how did he disgusting. not kill some of these guys? That's a good question. It's all about the control, man. At least, at least those jobbers didn't have to look at Rik Rikishi's ass and you know, cottage cheese ass when every time he did the stink face. I mean, I'm not sure what I would rather be on the receiving end of. Probably a bonsai drop. You can't take, you can't take away getting your ass, uh, someone's fat ass in your face. You know? That's I mean, gonna ruin. Keep that cellulite out of sight. That's I gonna mean, ruin. Depending how Yokozuna did it, it's kind of like six of one, half dozen of the other. Right. That's gonna ruin your Sunday having a, a big fat ass in your, you know. I mean, not that I'm judging, but... No. Whatever you're into. Just the lesion with a sidewalk slam. You're just making me hungry for Denny's again. <laughs> well, Denny's has their all-you-can-eat pancakes and some other breakfast crap that they usually serve. You know, Denny's wants to be a sponsor, you know. Little yeah. moons over my hammy. You think we can get some of the New Day pancakes? Uh, do you uh, really what about the, uh, the pumpkin spice? Do you really want to have uh, panca good. pancakes down Biggie's uh, you know, singlet and then eat those pancakes afterwards? I don't think Maybe so. Maybe I do. Okay, well, if that's, what, if that's uh, different strokes for different folks. That's right. My favorite is the uh, sausage gravy with some hash browns. Nothing you gotta like be only like a dollar ninety nine. Um, you can hold you, said. you can hold the gravy on mine, right there, Jesse. Uh, that's how we do it so down south, baby. Little biscuits, you know, let that sop up that gravy, sausage. Yeah, Jesse, the old biscuits Jesse. and gravy trick. Flavor explosion, baby. I thought you were from Minnesota, Jesse. You were the you were the governor of uh, Minnesota, right? Well, I've been down south for such a long time. So it's a rub off on you. 
I'm sure you didn't but follow my entire life. I guess so. Uh, couple years, but it's all about sausage gravy, baby. There's Big Mama with the two. Oh, three. That's kill. a three. Kill. Big Mama moves on to the uh, finals to fight J3 for the Ultra Violent Championship. Yeah, it's best of luck to both men. <laughs> Big Mama's showing. So let's get yes, this, this ring is cleaned her up and have ourselves a good old fashioned one on one contest tonight for the so large core title between Chris Fury and Vile, who is probably about on death's doorstep at this point, but. You know, they True. got the, kudos to him for being back out there. Got to trying to trying to get some trying to get some belts. That's how you get them. And he's uh, he's he's had the most opportunity here tonight to to win gold. I mean, we'll see if he can walk out with the large court title. But Chris Fury's no no uh, walk in the park here. No. We'll have to see how that earlier uh, tag team title offense plays a role in Chris Fury's uh, yeah. endurance for this match here. That's right. Let's just get this all set yeah. up here. Jump in there and do it quick and dirty just like my ex-wife, you know what I mean? Oh. Shots of former ex-Mrs. Ventura. Allegedly. Of course. I don't want to be sued. Allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. I'm a broadcast journalist, Chris Topher here. That's right. And we got the large oh. title up next here. Vile was the man who dethroned Frank the Dragon from being the large core champion. Look at those large core championship graphics there. Thanks again to Frank the Dragon for coming yes, up sir. with those beautiful graphics. A1 graphical work by Frank the Dragon. I like how the lard is just uh, kind of dropping down from the sky so beautifully. That's how, the, that's how you roll when you're living the lard core life. Dig into one of those tubs of lard there and uh, just kind of living it for a couple days, you know what I'm yes. saying? And, and don't never forget. Never forget the Lord. Yeah. Never again will you forget the Lord. Never ever. Let's see of what Vile has left in the tank here. I mean, I mean Doctor, probably, probably just had an E tank. It's good to go now. You know, Sig Sigma robots don't usually get E tanks, so we'll have to see how this. Uh, well, I'm I'm sure in Mega Man uh, X Maverick Hunter, where you can actually play as Vile, he can probably get like a sub tank or something. I guess it's different from an E-Tank. I don't think anyone played that game. a bunch of bolts saved up, so, you know. Yeah, I, mean, got I imagine he's got to refuel somehow. I really don't, don't you know, anyone really being all that excited about Vile from the Mega Man X series, but I digress. It's not your, uh, not your kettle of fish. Or my cup of tea. Oh. Cup of fish flavored tea. Disgusting. Have you ever tried That's it? another kettle of fish all together. Kettle chips. I'm surprised by Vile's energy here in this. He has been taking a beating all night here. I'm telling you, it's a Cr subtext. So there's got to be a secret. He's a robot. Win, lose, or draw. We will. Uh, Vile Steel will be getting drug tested after this. After this card is over. And the commission will have to take a look at it. Yes. As, as always. Sounds like he's having problems like I am. Uh, usually I put the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. I hate it when that happens. Nice overhead belly to back suplex, but Vile gets up first before Chris Fury does. Yeah, Vile's just like, eh. Fine. He's no no cell Jones. Right. Nice sidewalk slam by Vile there. Barry and uh, Vile exchanging blows there. Uh, European uppercuts and punches to the face to Chris Fury. Chris Fury seen as the Iron Man here in Mega Heart Championship Wrestling. He, he's been wrestling as many times as Vile has here too. This evening. 
been, uh, it's been very active. We'll hopefully he's this... hopefully he's still got some fuel in the tank to, to retain this large court title. I mean, so far so good. We're five minutes deep, they're both looking pretty strong. So. There's Fury going for the submissions early here, trying to end that. He doesn't want to have to be in there any longer than... He's not getting paid by the hour in there. Absolutely not. You, you, want, to get, away. you want to get a quick W and hit, hit the showers by yeah. Vile. That's right. You also want to go to the insurance package and pension, so... Well, that's, that's the American dream. At least dream. my mother told me. That's right. Or the, can, or the, can, or the Canadian dream. Yeah. Good to have, good to have medical cover. And a future sponsor, Affleck. If Affleck <laughs> wants to sponsor us, go right ahead. Ben. No, Affleck. Hey, that, yeah, that's, he's the he's Batman, right? Oh, that little ben, Gilbert Godfrey. Ben, ben Affleck. Yeah, I see what oh, you did. Oh, Ben Affleck. I no, got you. No, Gilbert Godfrey got fired years ago. Someone else does. As Batman. No, as the as no, the, as the duck. So how can a human being just... just sound so much like a, a bird? He's like he's Iago from Aladdin. He's the Aflac duck. He's the bird guy. Two point yeah. nine and Chris Fury almost losing that large court title there. Chris Fury told me earlier today he has a lot of respect for that large court title as his brother Frank the Dragon helped and along the speed of the kid established the large court title here in MHCW. Brothers don't shake hands, brothers gotta hug. That's right. There's the go to sleep and let's see what Chris Fury can do here. Knee to the face here. I'll steal. Elbow to the back of Chris Fury. Oh, a nice body splash into the back. Oh, beautiful oh, counter. The mission hold here. Can Vile, is Vile gonna tap? No, he gets it. Apes the hold there. There is that submission wrestling that. I told you that Chris Fury told me about earlier. Yes. In the day here. Looks like an exploder suplex there by Vile. Let's see if he can get the three count here. Very explosive. Nope. Nice chop to the throat. Body slam, and we'll see if Vile's going to the high rent district. And he connects with the body splash. Slow to get over two. No, two count. Maybe that ref was in better position. That could have been a new Larkor champion. European uppercut by Chris Fury there. Over oh. the top to the to outside. Vicious. And why not? Chris Fury likes to pose for the crowd after that one, but Vile gets right back in the ring. No sell, man. European uppercut. I think he might have brought a couple of E tanks for the fight, too. Like I said, the testing needs to be done here. Little fishy activity going on here. Oh, another submission hole. Is this going to be it? He's far away from the ropes. Reps asking. Vile says no. He's not giving up in this one. Just like he didn't give up in the Ultraviolet Championship Tournament. Knife inch chop to Vile. Oh, nice. Chart Buster, Jays of Disco Inferno. Bust them down the charts. There is the submission hold there. Reps asking Vile. Vile's holding in there. Almost got to the rope there. Nice swinging neck breaker, and Fury says he's got this one under control. Strong words from Chris Fury. I tell you what, guys, you guys are really wetting my appetite tonight uh, with all this tasty language. I'm glad to be here at New Year's Slam. So, glad, glad to have you here, Jesse, the body venture. It's a, it's one, two count, two count there. For this historic event, first ever pay per view, as it as it were, and uh, not the last. It, it can't be. 
No, the, there, will be the more, first there will be future ones. But more on that as it develops. So we got we got some ideas. The board of directors are are thinking of some brand new pay-per-view concepts for you here. folks. So stay tuned. I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's good fun so far. It's choke saying bio steel one, two. Oh, Three, and he did it with the choke sling on Chris Fury. We are definitely going to have to see what the commission says after the drug testing because I do not believe this here. I am shocked. Yeah, I, I thought Chris Fury would have kicked out of that, but it was pretty pretty centered. I guess it was stunned him just you, so. I mean, you gotta that's give off it, the vial. You, you got to give it up to second time Lardcore champion, first ever two time Lardcore champion. You gotta give your hands off to Vile, though. Although, I don't think this will be the last we hear from Chris Fury and Vile Steel by any means. No, I don't think so either. Anything but. But this does create a, an interesting dynamic for the next match. Because, as uh, some of you may or may not know, we have a strict rule at MHCW that the Lardcore Champion cannot challenge for the MHCW title. However, Chris Fury does have a rematch in his claws to cash in, so so we're just going to throw Chris Fury into this match as well. Wait a second here. This last chance encounter here. What the hell here. am I doing? Second? What am I doing wrong here? Don't mind me, just going to just gonna botch the main event, the semi-main event, everybody. Um... Oh, I, um, it needs to be a battle royal. That's the problem. So anyone that who is, I've, I've been told there, Harv, you can correct me if I'm wrong, anyone that has a title rematch has until tonight, and whoever's not in this match, if they were to have a rematch, it's tough luck. Is that correct there? Yeah, like you, um, you'll have to plead yourself a pretty strong case. Like, uh, we announced this for some time, so if we, uh, if I missed you, I apologize, but... The board of directors will have to rule on that. There's be different... Yeah. By all means, speak up. If, if we missed you. Or, you know, you could always cut a promo, you know. Cut a promo, you get an opportunity at four of the MHW titles, so... I mean, that that's right, too. You cut a promo if you if you want to cut a promo for, a, for any particular title. By all means, or or a specific match you want to have, go yeah, right ahead. It doesn't even have to be for a title. If you just you don't like the look of somebody, someone rubs you the wrong way, you want to challenge them to a challenge them to a landmine death match. By all means, it's always or someone. Or someone wants to cry and complain about something someone didn't say in a specific promo the week for two weeks, you can do that too. Yeah, whatever, whatever you like. So let's get this fight set up here. We got Douglas White. Michael Peterson, who was j the most recent MHCW champion. Rod Stewart, a.k.a. Squall. Yeah, Squall Lionheart. Repo Dog as well. Still has a, a title match in her back pocket, so... Well, a good time now in the ring. would be to cash in right now. Yeah. And of course, Diamond is in there. And uh, a world champion I think you all forgot about. Speedy the Cat. Never uh, never cashed in his, his rematch until just now. Last but not least, that's yeah, one fine feline I just, right there. I just hope that uh, MHCW doesn't uh, test for catnip because there could be a, an issue here if he becomes the new world champion. We'll just have to cross that bridge when we get there. I guess so. I guess legal will be on uh, speed dial. Yeah. So I think that's uh, just about all she wrote. So let's. So. Get the semi-main event going on here. Then after this, it's the finals with J3 versus Kabuki no Need to oh. be first ever ultraviolet champion. But right now we have the world championship. Hell of a graphic right there. Yes, beautiful graphics. Really does a lot for the whole presentation, I think. And we got a nice circle jerk of uh, competitors here in the ring here. That's right. Four Chris, big orgies out there with Rod Stewart. And Chris Fury going oh after Michael God. Peterson. Those two have no love loss for each other. Not even a little bit. Although I find Chris Fury doesn't have a lot of uh, love loss for a lot of people here in MHCW. No, very limited. He's definitely made some enemies. 
around here. But as they say, if you don't make an enemies, you're not doing anything. So Chris Fear is doing a lot of things right. He's I still mean, world, one half of the world tag team champions in Dragon Fury. I mean, it is wrestling. It's not friend class. Right. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's not show friends. It's show business. And Chris That's Fury is is all about the business Speaking and protecting of which, said that business. Chair. Well, this is an ODQ match because of the, the uh, amount of participants here. So anything goes here in the world title match here. That's right. Speedy, yeah. has, has, Speedy has to be seen as one of the fresher competitors in this match here. I don't believe he had a match on the card here. I believe that's maybe, correct. Maybe he uh, he did wrestle on the pre-show, but you know, that was just for the, uh, the the home crowd here. That's right. And the cameras were not rolling, so. No, but uh, helped warm the crowd up. That's for sure. Absolutely. Speedy ever the acrobatic. Speedy is a big fan favorite here in M in uh, MHCW. Oh, understandable. He's he's like the heart and soul of the of the whole MHCW behind uh, Hardware Harv and I would even say Mega Harv. That's right. He's the they say behind every, every man is a, is a good cat. He's a good cat. Oh, he's a good cat indeed. Although I heard he was playing, he did get his a copy of Kingdom Hearts before you did, though, Harv. I'm not happy about it. And I believe he's uh, his YouTube channel is doing pretty well in the subscriber department as well. He's really st streaming in that off time. Yeah, I, uh, I'll have to check that out. He's trying to he's trying to trying to he's step out of. Uh, he's uh, the Xavier Woods of MHCW. He's got. Uh, I, I wouldn't argue that. Da down, down, up, up, left, right, left, right. Is his channel. Maybe he can do a crossover. Mm -hmm. That that would be something. Else. A little Konami code. Is it's just it? the opposite. I think it's just the opposite. I just made up a code. There. But yeah, it's, <laughs> it's the shades of the Konami code. Yeah. Roll up, up, down, down. Left, right, left, right. Left, right, right left, start right, or whatever it is. Start. I didn't play mm -hmm. a lot of Contra. I don't really know the code off the top of my head, but I know up, up, down, down. And I think it's left, right, left, right. Maybe BA selects third. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully, one of these Why weeks, uh, one of these weeks, uh, Speedy will cut his own promo. I, I know he's got a lot to say. I mean, he cuts but, promos well, all the time, but when the when the camera's rolling, he doesn't really. Uh, he just wants to get out there and do business. He doesn't really want to cut the promos when the. He's a man of few words when the when the camera's on him. That's when right. the camera's off, he he can cut a promo like no other. Yeah, you should hear him. I've heard a lot of stuff come out of my mouth. I can't believe he's, he speaks with that potty mouth. I know. It's, I've spoken to him about it so many times. You know, he, he got fired from his last job with that kind of mouth, you know. But that's why he's got the time to do his streaming and also compete here in MHCW. That's right. He's got a full plate. They, Speedy, you're done. They loosen the, uh, the strings on the, the regulations of language here. So. And then he plays with those strings. He's, a cat. He's also got nine lives. That's right. He's not, he got nine lives. And he's not kidding around. No, he's, he's certainly not kidding. Well, it's hard to find out what's going on here. We've got a lot of action here. I mean, these. it's funny, these matches, because... The, the more people in the ring, the more exciting the match is, but it's kind of hard to tell what's even going on. You just got to kind of pick someone and, and root for them. There's Diamond Bar and Douglas exchanging. There's Speedy, and oh, there's Sister Abigail to Speedy. That's right. And, and j just for the record, I, I have to I have to put my money on Speedy, the, the hometown cat for me. Not discounting anyone else in the ring, but Speedy's my boy. He's your uh, your road dog, so to speak. Yeah. He ride or die. Just took a Canadian destroyer, but that's fine. Diamond with the two count. I didn't even know who even was taking the Canadian destroyer from Diamond. Oh, that was Speedy. Speedy with a clothesline to Chris Veary. One two count. Ref is 
Maybe they should have had more than one rep to handle this action, but maybe that's an issue for the board of directors to, to handle next time. That's wrestling for you. They, they don't like hiring more than one referee for matches. Easy fix, but they just won't do it. Well, they just don't want to pay out that, that money. You have to pay an extra guy to come out there to count to three. Yeah, that ring crew money, because... I, I, to be honest, I don't know how oh, yeah, much they also, the, they also, the refs make, but I, I don't think it's like tons. I imagine it's a good, good money. But I imagine the refs mm -hmm. get more. Well, you're not making Brock Lesnar money put ring. It's not. Don't get me wrong there, but you're yeah. still making a living. Oh, for sure. Be a help the job. I, I imagine. Chris Fury I mean, going after Rod to, Stewart. Uh, you get the best seat in the house for all these matches. You know, until you get a barbed wire bat in the face. Hey, accidents happen. You know, you, you work in the line of fire. Especially in, especially in wrestling, ask Tim White. Oh, an F5 to Michael Pearson by Chris Fury. I do not believe we've had elimination yet. No, I believe all seven competitors are still in the ring. Robo-Dog's showing up. That's, that's vintage Robo-Dog. It's always. Here we go, Diamond the F5. Chris Fury hitting F5s for days, and Sister Abigail to Rod Stewart, Squall. Chris Fury's already gassed out, though. So all these well, high gotta, impact maneuvers one after another, it's... Well, that's not only, not only that, but he also competed in the World Tag Team and Longport title matches here tonight. He's Chris also Fury. competing for the world title here. Can Chris Fury make history here tonight? We'll have to see. I mean, it's got to be. It's got a one in seven chance. Not no, good for anyone. Good but odds. Somebody's got to win. Not very good odds at all. Double power bomb to Squall by Michael Peterson, Douglas Wood. Jesse, who's your favorite to to win this match here? Uh, I guess I'm going to have to go with Harv, and uh, Speedy's just, you know, the, the furry companion that uh, everybody loves. Everybody likes a nice little cuddly companion, so... Someone, something has happened critical, critical, but I'm not sure... Chris Fury actually just stole Michael Peterson's finisher, is what just happened there. Hopefully he doesn't share the golden showers running down it. We'll see soon enough. So we got two for Speedy. Who, who do you have your money on? Mr. Stouffer. Well, it's kind of. Uh, I'm a Chris Fury fan, so I'm going to have to go with Chris Fury on this one. That's I'm understandable. Probably the, only, probably the only one that likes him here in MHCW. Other than I'm him. just imagining everybody uh, wrestling in the nude uh, in Jello, and everybody wins in that uh, scenario. That's so. right. That sounds like something J3 would say. Well. It is what it is. So, well, I'm just uh, saying in, in his uh, honor then, so. Well, yeah. What kind of uh, yeah, what, what, what kind of what color? Uh, what flavor Jello? Though? Uh, I think we'll go for a mixture here, a little cherry and some lime. Ooh, that's so nice. Good, uh, now is that Jello? Hopefully, it doesn't get in anybody's naughty bits. Is that Bill Cosby type Jello? Oh uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter if it's a uh, store brand or uh, no, I mean, as long as there's little bits of fruit in there. I mean, Bill was the spokesman for Jello back in the day. I don't think he is anymore. And, uh, no, probably not. And Coca-Cola. What you see there, Claire? We got your pudding pops in and out. We'll have a little kiddie pool full of Jello in his base. Take some weird photos with some Kodak film. And then, uh, what was the third sponsor you said? Coca-Cola? Uh, uh, he'll have a Coke and a smile after everything, so. Yeah, he did Kodak yeah. film, yeah. Well, I mean, today, I mean, you don't need film. You can just use your cell phone. You That's take right. digital. Different time. Oh, pile driver. Chris Fury takes a pile driver right to Speedy. Speedy's reeling after that pile driver. Yeah, that was a stiff pile driver. I guess, yeah. I'm surprised that's still legal here in MHCW. Until further notice. No diamonds been suffering some head trauma, but. I mean, she's in there. She is the very first. Uh, Woman to win the MHCW world title, breaking right. barriers here. That's right. Robo Dog, also a former world champion yeah. in her own right. Yes, indeed. 
both in the ring. I believe the only two female MHCW champions, if memory serves me correctly. I believe that's correct, sir. Speedy with the Macho Man elbow drop. Speedy is suplex. Oh, to the back of the ring. He took a hard shot. Oh, the He's apron. Not even the choke Speedy. Slam. Speedy is uh, real in there. He gets back in. He's back in the ring there. Oh my god, I saw a three count, but it was a count outside the ring of three. Yeah. Squall and Rope. Squall and Rope Duck up 2.9. Someone almost got pinned. Wish we'd understand and under. under and like, look at that mass of humanity pinned. right there. We don't even know who's getting pinned or, or what right now. Going every which way but loose. Douglas White suplexes uh, Chris Fury to the, the outside. And spaghetti leg is Chris Fury as he goes back into the ring here. Getting another chair. I don't know what was wrong with the first chair he brought out, but I wanted another one. Who am I to judge? I mean, you're not Judge Judy or Judge Brown, so... I'm not Judge Mills Lane either. Let's have a clean fight. Well, it's already been 23 minutes and no one's been eliminated here, so this is world title matches really got us all on the, on the edge of our seats here. Brad Stewart with a submission move to Douglas White. Can we see a new champion for sure? Well, I find that these matches, once one one participant is gone, it, it all follows. Oh, DDT. Dirt. Right on the chair to Douglas. Dirty Deeds or Speedy T done to Douglas White, the former, or the, I'm sorry, not the current, the current MHCW champ. So many former world champions in this match, you kind of get, you get tongue-tied here. Yeah, it's, it's easy to lose track, but currently it is Douglas. Up, oh, Speedy is going to take an F5. There's just so much action going on here. It's all such close quarters. Ropo's got some submission move by Chris Fury. Wait a minute. I, I didn't see. Is that I did not Fury? see. He tap? He must have tapped. I didn't see Chris Fury tap. I I, I'm calling shenanigans on this one. I don't know. He left the ring pretty amicably. I don't know. I have to say. Well, I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, arguing with the ref isn't going to change I the mean, outcome. I mean, the referee's decision is final. So you're down to well, six. Well, I mean, I mean, there is some shenanigans going on. This referee's been blowing calls left and right all night. I mean, he was happen. in four landmine matches, so I'll cut him a little slack. Up in the, you got the refs having a seizure right now. I, I guess the medical staff didn't take a look at him earlier. You know, maybe that's what Chris Fury will have to say. Fury had any seizures. Yeah, Chris just, Fury might have words about that. I don't know if that saved Diamond Bar or not. That that ref bump. He might have strong words there, Harf. Strong words by Chris Fury. He may Fury. very well. Have, I'm sure he will have strong words. Generally does. We still have six competitors here in this world title match here at New Year's Slam. The semi-main event here. Of course, the ultra-violent championship is our main event between J3 and uh, Kabuki Ono. No, AK Oh, I'm sorry, Ono. Big Mama is going to be fighting for the title against you. Robo Dog with a nice moonsault to Douglas White here. One for two. Another moonsault. Moonsault for days here. Two count in the meantime. Robo's like, yeah, I'm going to pick a fight with Speedy now. Speedy is holding his own here. He waited to the last minute to declare for this match. In fact, Harf had no idea that Speedy was going to be in this match until about two seconds before he came up. A critical... Someone just did a stun... I think it was Michael Peterson doing the stunner to Ropo Dog. Yeah. Well, I mean, Michael Peterson had his finisher stolen, so he thought he'd return the favor to Ropo Dog. Seems Although like... Ropo, well, Ropo Dog did not steal any finisher from Michael Peterson. That's right. Also known as Golden Showers brings May Flowers. I see what you did there. Wasn't lost on me. Diamond Bar is still hanging in there. Douglas White to the outside. Michael Pearson. If this was a over the top, that might have, they both men, those men would be eliminated. But no, Michael Doug, or uh, Michael Peterson. 
and Douglas White fighting on the outside. The referee's up to 10. They have now what a 20 happens count. if Douglas White gets counted out here? Does that make this whole match null and void? I would guess that the, since this is elimination rules, he would not be the world champion anymore. He gets back in at 17, so we don't have to answer that question. Yeah. Curious about this. Well, maybe one of these days, uh, we had a couple of weeks ago, we had a double count out, which led to Douglas White getting a, a, into a triple threat with uh, Rod Stewart. And it's Douglas White came out. Insane. And, uh... Oh, two count there. Oh, nope. Someone's out. Oh, Douglas. Critical onto the chair. Michael Peterson with his knockout. Spe Looks like Speedy is going back to the locker room, so Speedy's been eliminated. Speedy. Michael Peterson, I mean, uh, Douglas White looks like he's eliminated, but apparently he's just TKO'd and no one's going to get his body Michael off. Michael Peterson just got eliminated. Which, see, Man, this is like dominoes. One after is yeah, falling after another. Diamond bar. Bar. Also goes yeah. down to Ropo Dog and Squall. Rod Stewart and Ropo Dog here. And I think uh, Rod's feeling a little sexy, you know. I'm feeling too sexy for his shirt here tonight. I thought that was right, said Fred. Same. No. Yeah, you're right. Ropo Dog into the ropes. <laughs> Ropo. Ropo Dog for a reason. That's the. Get the rope dog, you in know. The ropes, yeah. He's up, perched on the rope, and. Oh, nice hurricanrana. Yeah. The pen. Th Two. Oh, oh so I thought we had Ropo. Champion Douglas White is knocked oh. out. Out cold. Tough break for Douglas White. Getting knocked out with a Michael Peterson screw slam onto a chair. Just perfect as can be. And again, the Vince Russo effect on the MHCW world title is in effect here. Robo Dog is out. What's Rod Stewart going to do? Squall. We're going to see. Oh, nice, uh, nice stunner cutter there. Yeah, nice cutter. Two. Oh, with a two oh, count. Long a, two count. I don't know. That looked like a three count to me, Harv. That was the long two. Oh, look at that. Look at that. The nice, nice dance in there. Oh, and that's that might have caught her. That might have. One, two. Oh, two oh, count. Two count. You can't be Bro. showboating in the final two of the nice MCW title. Last that chance. Is not, that's not the time to be dancing as, as right. Oh, nice. Nice stun gun stunner there by Ropo Dog, but Stewart gets like, to yeah, shoot. Screw that. I junctioned some thunder earlier. I'm fine. Little Maggie May there. <laughs> oh, there's a submission. Cross arm breaker, and that's it. Is Squall. that it? Squall Rod once Stewart. Again. Third time. Rod Squall Stewart is your Squall new man. Came team. out on top, but uh, Ropo had the move. I like it when she uh, told him no, no, and just kicked him straight in the face. That's probably my uh, favorite move of the whole uh, MHCW. She also uh, did, too, did too busy whipping and nay name unlike my Patreon page that That's I don't right. have. That's right. And if anyone's she seen my pants, has style please, points in there. if anyone has seen my pants, please contact me. I'm missing my pants. Yeah. You need to Another get that spot. on a milk carton. Another spot. Well, it's a sponsor. It's on the ring skirt apron there. Uh, Chris Co. Pants. All I'm gonna there. do is call, uh, you know, one eight hundred Pants, and uh, Chris Pants Company uh, will ship one uh, new pair of pants to your door. So. Well, there you go. Another mm -hmm. sponsor there, yeah. living up to the billing here of MHCW. Well, we just had a kill once again to all the competitors, but most notably to Swall for for pulling through with the the championship tonight. But we are getting down to the wire. It is now the main event of the evening for the We've first had a, ever ultraviolet champion between J3 the, and Kabuki no Oni. If the world title match is any indication, this should be a barn burner of crown the very first ever ultraviolet champion. Agreed. But like how this is going to work is J3, Kabuki no Oni will be in this match. It'll be a barbed wire death match. But we're not going to have any in-ring explosions till about half hour mark, let's say. Rather than immediately. Let's let's drag this out a little bit. Want to have a knockdown, drag out, bloody final contest here. You know, the commission also made almost made this a steel cage match, but they had a steel cage match earlier in the night, and that would have been a little less of a have. 
two steel cage matches here tonight. Usually they have the steel cage match to determine the uh, first ever champion. They don't want any interference of any kind. I mean, typically. But this is the Ultra Violent Championship. Anything goes, so... That's right. And if you want to crawl into a barbed wire ring to try I'll to stop you... someone from winning that title, it's all it's, it's all you. It's without any further Very... ado. This is the MHDW Ultra Violent Championship again. Kudos to Frank yeah. and He's for the great graphics. Work for there. MHCW. You know... He's on the short list to be on the very first ever uh, inducting into the Hall of Fame of MHCW. I would agree at this rate. Was that a little For bit of a of reasons. little bit of Shawn Michaels barbershop window action there in the graphic? If you saw that, hard. Oh, I I saw that. That's like that's like OG, ultra OG. violent for a lot of us. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like at the time, it was like holy, holy catfish. And it still holds up as one of the best heel turns ever in the history of wrestling, the barbershop window. Agreed. But we're here with GA3 and uh, and Big Mama here for the uh, Ultra Violent Championship. That's right. J 3 has been rested. Also had the benefit of going on before, too early for a pinfall. I'm sure he's all rested and massaged up. Oh, he's ready to go. He's He can go multiple times in the evening. He has no problems going multiple times. Lead it. I just like how the, uh, the ball hands color matches the other uh, diaper of uh, Precious here. <laughs> yeah, just kind of just kind of worked out like that. Well, nice big, color coded match. Well, Big Mama also in the house here. Well, I mean, it's the ultra violent title. I think we got some a little violet with that violent and violence. I think those uh, ball hand jawbreakers are going to be uh, breaking down Big Mama's house. Going to huff, puff, and blow her house down. You know, among other well, things. Hopefully, they don't blow the ring down. And we can get this this championship match underway, and then have to worry about fixing the ring later. Here's a pinfall. Nope. Too early in the match for both competitors. Oh yeah, we got a full week to set up the, the ring again. Yeah, but this isn't the Royal Rumble where the under made the ring if when after Angle and Mark Henry had their world title match. I always miss they those. I always wanted to catch one of those live, but I never did. Well, they've done them like breaks. three or four times. Yep, missed it every time. Even back when I was heavily watching wrestling, still missed them somehow. I mean, big. I mean, Big Show and uh, Kurt Angle, Lesnar, and Lesnar, and, and Mark Henry. Was, it was a uh, Le or uh, Big Show and uh, and Mark Henry also broke, did the ring, and then. Uh, yeah. They did one with Braun Strowman and I think Big Show. Sounds about right. So it seems like every time the ring breaks, it's Big Show. Well, now you can like kind of see it coming, so it's like, eh, maybe don't do it again. Well, like well, it's a cool well, spot, but it's like that's not one I should be able to be like, oh, the ring's gonna break. Two count there. Well, I mean, with the way they have the new ring, the, the ring, uh, the term turn post graphic thing uh, LED boards the night that Braun Strowman uh, did it they didn't have any of those out so you knew something was going to happen because they usually have those those LED boards around the post except for a steel cage match oh, or, yeah. or elimination chamber because they haven't uh, figured out how to uh, put the chamber or the cage around those bulky LED boards around the post J3 up to his feet here, throws up up right against the ropes and the barbed wire got him up, ball hands up to Big Mama's house, DDT by Big Mama. Luke, you know, only bleeding all over the place. I don't think J3 is bleeding yet, but I can't tell. Jesse, who do you got in this match here? I got J3 here. I have to go with ball hands, you know. Yeah. I mean, I, I think... 
I think it's unanimously J3. Anyway. It's the pick to win. Sweet chin music by J3. We just, know, be it. We just One, know how two. J3's no stranger to hardcore. Two, two count there, absolutely. He likes it. He gets down and dirty with the best of them. Like not just getting about the hardcore. Only. He's been very impressive since his debut. Absolutely. Well, he made it to the finals. No, you make it to the finals. You, you, you've done. You've done a, a especially in the ultraviolet championship tournament here. I mean, we had qualifying matches for two weeks to get down to the final eight here. There's the ball hand flurry. Two count. Not to be cons not to be confused with the Mick Flurry from McDonald's or Chris Fury. That's right. I saw what you did there. I like that. Two count. I absolutely do. Good. Nice little Oreo McFlurry would be good right now. That would be good right about now. Chicken sandwich or and a, and another chicken, chicken, you, you chicken sandwich the, uh, McFlurry. You can also, ew, mm -hmm. ew. Go for that. <laughs> Maybe if you had your jaw broken, that's the only way you could you could get that down, but not yet a choice, you know. Oh, J3 with surprisingly with the small J3. package. I never would have guessed, but two count. He does not have a... That's the big package, right? Yeah, it's just the big package. That's not even the total package. Not even Lex Luger. Oh, the refs down. We have a ref bump already. Another seizure. Man, the medical here at MHCW is not very good. Well, I mean, if I was a paramedic, I wouldn't want to be jumping in that ring. Looks like they Let's used uh, Whitey's music. nephew from Eight Crazy Nights having all these seizures. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give us a, 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 a the uh, referee's voice from Eight Crazy Nights? I yes. give it, uh, I feel another seizure coming up. <laughs> That's a very talented Jesse Ventura, there, folks. I know, a man of many voices. I mean, I get a lot of practice out there, you know. You just gotta jump out in the jungle and try to mimic the monkeys. You know what I mean? Another day, another dollar for you, right, Jesse? That's what it's, that's what it's all about there, Chris Tilfer. Love you, man. Sweet chin music. Love you too, Jesse. Feel the love in the room right now. Absolutely. Brings, uh, brings it out of me. Two count there. More ball hands. Furious ball hands. Looks like uh, Big Mama's in the ball pit right now. Speaking of McDonald's. Again, not not good positioning. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm loving it. Hopefully she's not like one of those uh, unlucky kids in the 80s and finds a heroin needle in the uh, bottom of the ball pit. Okay. Sounds like a bad day at Chuck E. Cheese if I say so myself, right? Yeah, that would be less than ideal. Oh, yeah. Good pizza. Well, they did until yeah. they changed it recently because the moms had to say something about it. I they 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 didn't go for the before there. Too, no? You go to Chuck E. Cheese for the games, not for the pizza, but you know. You gotta have artists and pizza. No, the animatronics. I think they were uh, they were serving beer at one point for the uh, for the kids, for the grown folks. Oh, well, he, uh, <laughs> oh, there we go, Big oh, Mama. Maybe that that could be Big Mama's finishing with one, two, three counts. That's it, and yeah, we got seven. ourselves our very first ever Ultra Violent Champion. Congratulations! Hats off to Kabuki No Oni. Tough break. AK three. That was. He's close. AKA, AKA Precious, AKA Big Mama. But I mean, fi finals of that match, I don't know. I feel like J3 might have something to say about that. If anyone, we'll if anyone would be first in line to, to challenge for that again, I would say it'd be J3, but we'll have to we might, we'll have to see how this spills out next week. Absolutely. I can see a, a championship rematch next week on MHCW for sure. We'll just, we'll just have to cross that bridge when we get to it. But our next pay-per-view event, would you like to tell tell the fine viewers at home what the next pay-per-view event will be called there? Well, we'll let you know the co what it's called. You can probably figure it out, but it'll be it'll be over the top. There will be uh, 
It'll definitely be uh, battle royal centric. But that's all we're gonna. That's all we're gonna delve into at the moment. More news in the coming weeks. Yeah, Tune into MHCW. Uh, lets us know. They iron out in uh, iron out the details here. But that's right. Over over the top will be the next event here for MHCW. That's right. And we hope you we hope you all can join us for then, and also join us next week for more exciting live action here on MHCW. That's right. I hope you all very much enjoyed this this edition, this pay per view. Let us let us know what you think. And I just, just want to say thanks to Chris Stouffer for providing some commentary, as well as Jesse the Body Ventura. Thank you for joining in. Thank, thank, you for, me. thank you for having me there, Herb. No worries. And also, and also thank, thank you. you to uh, J3 uh, is obviously upset and too upset to talk right now, so I don't want to thank him, thank him for joining us via satellite yeah, earlier. And thank you for watching MHEW and tune in next week to find out the fallout from New Year's Slam. Yes. Have a good one, folks. You guys, uh, remember this. Good Go, night, go good ahead, fight. Jesse. Go ahead, Jesse. Well, I just want to remind everybody to just go to CriscoPantsCompany.com uh, uh, if you want to bounce back with some slacks or uh, get some mean jeans. Ooh. It's uh, ChrisCompanyPants.com. I see what you did there. My pants. That, that's the place to do it. Don't forget the large folks, and thanks again. We will see you next week. Strong words from Chris Fury.